Hey, it's Kim. Welcome to today's video. I'm back today to share with you my September setup. So, I already started doing this, <laughs> actually, full disclosure. I did not plan to record a video setting it up or like a, you know, typical plan with me kind of video just because I've been enjoying having planner time to myself like in the evenings and it's just not really conducive to setting up a camera. So, a friend of mine asked me if I would be putting out my September plan with me video this coming weekend and I was like, no. But then I got to thinking that maybe I should. So, um, I did do part of it, but today with me, you're going to see, um, or together, we're going to be setting up the rest of September. So when I open things up, I'm going to show you what I've started with and where things are at the moment. Also, I'm just thinking now that I need to go grab my washi tapes and pull out the Tombos that I'm using for September. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'll grab my washi tapes. Um, I have them all here. I've also grabbed the markers I'll be using for the September setup, the ones that I started using for the September setup. And I'll tell you, okay, first, let me show you. So these two washies, I can control everything. These two washies are from High Paper Clouds. They're in the purple family, which is pretty much what the September sticker kit from Sterling Ink, the one that I'll be using for this setup. It's really like a lot of purples, and I'm hoping you can kind of see what the vellum looks like there, but it's a lot of purples. So my washi selections are pretty purple heavy, kind of. And then this one is a Sterling Ink washi. I'm not sure if they still sell it. I've had it for a very long time. This one is a gray grid washi that I got from a set on Amazon. I believe it's linked in my Amazon storefront which I actually need to update <laughs> but I will have my Amazon storefront link down below. If you don't see it of course just um, leave me a note and I will get you the link. And then I have these two. These two are from the same company that I feel like I cannot remember the name, um, but if you are into washi tapes and you buy them from like Japan or a lot of Japanese base stationery companies, it's one of those. I can't think of the name. If I do, I'll pop it down below when I remember. So these are all of the washies that I've chosen. So um, a few purples, some grays, and also some tan and brown in there as well and that is the same color story reflected in the Tombow markers that I'm using for the month. So I'll put these kind of in some semblance of order maybe. Not really. Okay so this first one I have is Tombow 850. Then I have 772, 679, uh, 942, 977, and 55. And this purple brush pen that is from a Ritex set that I also got off of Amazon, which I can give you the link if you're interested. So I'll actually show you what my September swatch page looks like. So my September swatch page does show all of the markers that I pulled out except for Tombow 942. Didn't have that there. So that's that one. I think that's all of the ones that are accounted for along with all of the washies that I pulled out as well. So this is a glimpse of the color story that I'm kind of going with for September's monthly setup. And as I stated, I have already started. <laughs> so I'll show you that. And this is my September monthly. So as you can see, I kinda wanted to, like I said, lean into the purple. So I did use that darker purple colored washi from High Paper Clouds down at the bottom. And then I used some of the stickers from the kit, some of the floral stickers to denote specific days or events that I have going on or appointments. And that's pretty much what my monthly setup has looked like so far. And I will interject for a minute 
to note that this is actually a Hobonichi cousin, an A5 size Hobonichi cousin that I've cut down to standard TN width. So I do get a lot of questions about that and I often forget to mention that in my setup videos or my plan with me videos. But not to give you like an overview, I do, I do have a video that went through all of January through June up on my channel to give you like um, a flip of what's been going on in here. But I wanted to show that my monthlies start off pretty bare. Um, just the appointments and the important dates and then as the month progresses I will write in things that happened other reminders I'll write in maybe a little bit of micro journaling if I feel the need so that's where my monthly setups kind of start off so here is where we're starting and then what I have done I've also set up all of my weeklies for September so I've been doing this for the past couple of months, just kind of putting the framework down, putting down some stickers, deciding which colors I want to be the main colors for each week. And I've been enjoying that. So I did the same thing for all four weeks of September, the four full weeks of September. And that's where these come in. And then down at the bottom will be my usual list. Normally a task list, a cleaning list, errands, anything I think of and then the middle section is for appointments and things that are happening during the day like my timetable I call it and the top section is where I usually put some priorities so maybe like my top three for the day things that I want to make sure I necessarily are specifically or especially get done on a specified day so these are all four weeks of September this last weekly which I noticed tends to happen for me I guess maybe I'm like decoed out <laughs> but by the time I get to the last weekly I'm not entirely certain what I want to put on here I know that I wanted it to be brown leaning or brown heavy I did not choose any kind of deco for the bottom corner I think I will figure that out as the month gets here and as the weeks progress but this is what I have so far for the monthlies and I'm actually quite excited like this first one I've got some of this dark purple Tombow and some of the tan color so that's kind of the combination for that week and then the second week I clearly have the brighter pink that's the Tombow 772 and the purple Rytec marker so I'll use these heavily for the second week and then third week very gray leaning so I do have just this one. Oh, there's also a lighter gray Tombow marker that I don't have pulled out but it's mostly just the gray and then this washi here with the script on it is from High Paper Clouds and it's kind of like a pinkish purplish type of color and then this last weekly is this washi here with just the Tombow 977. So that's pretty much where I left off last night actually. Um, I decided to pack it up and <laughs> clean it up not to do the rest of my monthly setup which would consist of my collection pages for September. So I decided you know I would do that the next day which is today and then I was thinking I might as well bring out the camera and we'll do it all together. I haven't even really planned out what I'm gonna do I don't even have on like jewelry for the day this is I'm like fresh this morning I have my cup of coffee I haven't even eaten yet <laughs> we're just jumping right in and having some fun planner time so I say all that to say I haven't figured out where I'm going to start September so in my daily pages they are dated but I don't follow the dates so I do know, so this is Friday, and then I will likely fill in the rest of this daily page throughout the course of today. And then I'll do Saturday and Sunday here, and have the weekly review here. And then I'll start the next week, which begins on, I need my calendar. Is it the 28th? Pulling out my calendar. So yes, the next week, uh, Monday starts the 28th. So that's where I would start this day, right? Yeah, Saturday, Sunday, weekly review, 28th, and then the 29th. Monday and Tuesday, I do usually use a full page for those. And then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday will be on this two-page spread. So that would be 
the 30th and the 31st because actually Friday is the 1st of September all right so maybe then that makes a little bit more sense so we got Monday the 28th the 29th 30th and then the 31st and that's where August ends and then right after the end of August I'll do a two-page spread to do my little recap of what went on for the month and then right after this I'll jump right into September so this is where my September collection pages should start and that's why I had this little piece of um, scrap paper reminding me but one thing that I was thinking of, so you see how this is August 28th, and normally for my swatch pages for that specified month, I will use that blank page that starts the month and the Hobonichi. So this one doesn't have a grid on it, so I don't like to write things on it, because then, you know, everything will be all crooked and skewed. So I use this to set up my swatch page. So let's see. Okay, so if this is where the September um, collection starts, this will be my tracker my one line a day and then I have goals and then reflection okay and then I can start September 1st here but likely I'm going to start it here yes so I'll start September 1st here wait the first is a Friday yeah yeah, yeah. first and then second third and then the weekly review there yada 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 all right so we can start September right here so clearly I'm a little bit ahead of schedule I'm starting September on the date in the book that's dated August 27th and 28th and then once I get into the actual dailies for September my September 1st will actually start on September 1st oh isn't that convenient okay <laughs> so that is cool so that's what we're going to do together. We're going to start setting up my collection pages. And before we do that, I'm actually going to cut down the B6 size calendar that comes in the Sterling Ink set. It comes B6 size or width, which is close to maybe like five inches wide. I have a piece of washi tape stuck on here. So I'm gonna cut it down to standard size width, which is about 4.25 inches. Slightly narrower than that. But I usually have to decide which side I'm gonna cut stuff off on. And I think I'm gonna trim off on this side. So it'll cut off maybe like this, just to the left of that larger flower. So using my ruler up at the top, I'm going to see where I should cut it off. All right, so 4.25 is about there, and it will cut there. Hmm. That's actually cutting off a lot more of this flower than I want to, so I'm thinking I'm going to cut just a smidgen off of this side. So let me do a bit on this side, not too much. And then I'll turn it around. No. I need yes 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 turn it around and then line it up with 4.25 and cut off just a little bit on this side I always hate to cut off anything on these uh, vellum calendars because they're so pretty but it's either that you know cut them off or just not use them at all in my layout and that is not an option so this is going to go this calendar is going to go here once I finish setting up these two pages and I'm going to start by actually pulling out some correction tape because I do want to cover that the darker header kind of areas that are on the weekends for Hobonichi cousin that was kind of messy but it's okay um I might as well cover this too I guess Mm, I don't usually do this it kind of depends on the page like if it's that darker border color or darker accent color I will or if I think it's going to interfere with something I want to put on the page I will do that and then the next thing that I typically do for these pages is I'll usually use one of the very large scene stickers 
Um, and the big one in this kit is this one. Now, I know I said I don't like stickers with people in them, and I don't. Still don't <laughs> like all of these girl stickers. I'm not going to use. Uh, it does disappoint me a little bit that there's four large stickers that could have been something else that I could use. But it's okay. Actually, I saw on the Facebook page that Catherine, the designer and owner for Sterling Inc., said that she will not be including people in future um sticker kits or subscription kits i guess there have been people other than me complaining about uh the presence of them so i'm happy about that i'm very happy about that so what i, what I want to see is where this lines up i feel like it's gonna cut off because what september has 30 days right i think i need to put down my numbers first and then I will figure out where to put that larger sticker so this is going to be the larger scene sticker that I will put on this right hand side I think I want to go in with this brown colored washi and maybe some purple maybe those two I kind of like that like a grayish purple together but let's see so the first step like I said I'm going to put down my numbers and those I have from Randy Dot Plans, and they are made for Hobonichi Cousins. So they are made to fit the spacing or the um, grid size of the Hobonichi Cousins, so that makes it very convenient. I have both the horizontal numbers and the vertical numbers. So so this side i need to use the vertical number line and i will start up at the top because like i said i'm not exactly sure where this is going to end but i know i'm going to start like first box there duh and hopefully put that on fairly straight and then the next one, and actually I need to cut off the number 31, don't I? Yes. So using my little mini scissors, I will cut off number 31. And then put down 16 through 30 for my one line a day. All right, so that looks pretty good. And then now I can kind of see where the sticker is going to line up. And I actually do like this sticker, even though it has a person in it, I do like it. I think it's really cute. There's like a Sterling Ink storefront um, that's in the image. I think it's really, really cool. Uh, I actually, think I can fit this whole sticker here let's see it may overlap into that last day the 30th just a little bit but not too much not too much so, I think maybe I'll start by trying to line it up here at the top I, I feel like I'm just I'm gonna do this crooked That, that wasn't too bad. So I do have a little bit of overlap here at the bottom that I'm just gonna trim off. This little sliver of sticker that's hanging off. Cool. So that fits. And then now I'll go in with the washi, the brown color washi that I wanna use down here at the bottom. upside down yes all right so using my ruler just gonna cut that off and then continue it on to the right hand side of the page 
but I'd like to line it up a little bit better. That's looking really, really not lined up. So here we go. I've been thinking about getting a microphone for my YouTube videos. I used to use one and then um, it got a little faulty and my sound was weird for a long time and it was really annoying and then I found myself yelling to make sure that <laughs> you guys could hear me in the videos and that was even more annoying especially to you know be a viewer of the video and have to hear me screaming through a video so anyway I um scrapped that microphone that I used to use but now I'd like to get a new one and I feel like all the good ones are quite pricey I suppose they have to be maybe I guess if you want good sounds I mean that makes sense to me but that doesn't make it okay it doesn't doesn't mean I actually want to spend the money on it but I think I will especially for a day like today where I do have a fan on in the background not sure if you can hear that but I have a fan on in the background and you know no apologies I am hot so <laughs> I wanted to have the fan on I wasn't gonna sit here and like melt um but yeah I do think in instances like this the uh, microphone will be a lot better to kind of make the sound just a lot more crisp I suppose so I'm thinking that's what I want to do. I just don't know what microphone to even use. Like how much of an investment should it really be? This isn't my job. YouTube is not my job. So anyway, I say all that to say, if you have any suggestions for some good microphones, please let me know. What could be a good microphone to use so that uh, the viewers can hear me clearly. Oh, that was a lot darker than I wanted it to be. Oh, wow. I'm using the point, what is it, 08 or the 08 um, micron for these lines, but normally I use the 03. So I picked up the wrong one. I'm going to switch to the 03, yes, for the remainder of my lines here. So yeah, if you have any suggestions for a good microphone, I'm all ears. Please let me know. Lines. So these are all my lines that I like to, or numbers that I like to put down to track my sleep. Interestingly enough though, I don't really track my sleep on this tracker anymore. I've been doing that in my health and fitness um, journal that I'm using a whole bunch of weeks for. So that's new um, but I still write it out and I still keep the tracker the same exact way as I used to so I'm thinking I want to use this darker purple as my main color for August I however don't want to repeat colors so what I want to see I have this here that tells me what main color I've been using for each month of the year. So I have not used this one, Tombow 679 yet. So I'm gonna use it for September. Where are we? All right. So I'm gonna use it for September. And I'll do that right there. It is rather dark. So I'm going to have to write over that with a darker pen to write in my title tracker. And I'm gonna grab my a fountain pen that I'm going to use for the month. Do I need my fountain pen now? Actually, not really. Um, I did use it here, and I don't normally use my fountain pen to write these titles, so I'm actually not going to use that right now. I will go back to the Micron and use this. So putting out all of my categories that I like to track, I do switch it up 
here and there but not not very often and it works for me these things that I'm tracking like working out if I'm staying hydrated enough that's actually one that I don't really need to track because I typically just drink a lot of water all the time anyway but if there are days where I feel crazy days that I might have a migraine I can usually track it back to um, being dehydrated sometimes so that's the reason why I do keep it on here photos reading. I feel like my handwriting it's pretty terrible <laughs> on this list but that is okay And then down here again, I do track um, if I have migraines, uh, my cycle day, and then I have categories for energy, which I do track, sleep, and oh, I have weight on here. I haven't tracked my weight in forever, so I should probably take that off of my tracker, but I just haven't. So that's that. Okay, oh, and before I move away from this page, I'll just write the title. This random piece of washi, okay. So you can see that pretty okay using the Boulder uh, Micron. And now I do want to do a title here. I don't typically like to write over the correction tape that I used. So now I am mildly regretting. I didn't even put a title on this one. So now I'm mildly regretting putting the correction tape there, but it's fine. I'll just start. Maybe I'll just do it on this side. And we'll leave it at that. Pretty simple. Okay, so then the next two pages in my collection are for goals and reflection. So the reflection happens at the end of the month. I've explained this before. So for instance, I do have my goal and reflection page here for August. Once August wraps, I will write down a few questions or a few things that I ask myself in reviewing the month to see like um, how I thought it went or anything I could change or make better. So that happens at the end of the month. And then my goal section, which I actually need to come back here and check some things off. But that's what the setup would usually look like. So very simple, very straightforward. I was just trying to see what, where I started the um, writing down the sections for the questions. So, what deco do I want to use for this page though? Most importantly, what marker? I don't think I'm gonna go with the dark purple. I'm kinda leaning towards this purple floral washi somewhere. And I also do like this sticker, so I have two of them. Maybe one of these. So I'm thinking I would like that. So maybe I'll go with the lighter purple. Uh, to make the highlighted sections for where my questions are going to be. And even with this ruler here, it's not very neat. But that's okay. So that's the color I'm going to use. And then I just use the same Micron 03 to make a little bit of a border where the question is going to go. All right. And as I struggle every single month, 
this month is no different i struggle with where i want to or where i want to put the header um where i want to put any kind of washi tape it's always a bit conundrum but i think so even though i do want to use these stickers i want to first put down this purple floral washi Oops. because i want this down there more then I want those stickers. So I want to get this first. And then I'll decide what stickers and where I'm going to place said stickers. Um, I feel like that's going to go crooked. Not bad. Alright. So that's those two sides. My goal page doesn't really have a structure at the moment. I was or am in the process of revamping the layout in a sense. Okay, so now that I see these floral stickers next to the floral washi, I don't like it. So, I'm not going to do that. Maybe I'll do something along the bottom. But since I'm not sure of what I want to do specifically... I'm not going to force it. I kind of want to bring in some of this tan or brownish color, but I feel like that's going to be too light. So it's similar in color to 942, but it's a bit darker. And I think I would like it better in conjunction with the purple. all right so that's where i'm gonna leave this for now um yeah i'm not sure as i was saying how i'm going to set up this goals page i was thinking last month that i would do some type of what do you call it like a vision board or mood board for the month um i don't know if that's where i want my creative energy to go <laughs> like, i have other things that i like to do like my memory keeping or other creative type journaling so i don't know if i feel like going together and putting together like a, a mood board to put in here i don't know if i care that much so i'm still on the fence about how this is going to shape up this page needs more deco but i don't know what that's gonna be i don't want to force it i don't want to rush it so i'm gonna leave it right here all right so taking it from the top I've got my monthly overview for September and I have all of my dates. I have some deco. I am likely if I use like a marker on this page, I'm thinking it may be this pink. I use this pink underneath the sticker here and I do like the way it doesn't stand out too much, but you can still see it. This is Tombow 850. So I'll probably use this to highlight anything or to bring my eye to anything in particular. Oh, and what I didn't mention, so the pen that I am using for September is going to be my Caveco AL, Caveco Sport AL in the Golden Espresso color. How about I pull it out? So it's going to be this one. So it's the Caveco Sport AL or aluminum in the Golden Espresso color. And this is a medium nib. I'm a slightly nervous. <laughs> I'm a slightly nervous. I'm a little nervous about using the medium nib for just my daily writing because I don't want it to get too, I don't know, muddled. Like I don't write really big. And sometimes when I use a larger nib I, or a broader nib, I feel like I have to write larger, which is not always comfortable for me. But anyway. This is the pen we're using for September and the ink I've chosen is Diatramentis Johann Sebastian Bach. So it's a, like a purplish kind of color. It has some brownish undertones almost. I don't want to call it burgundy. I'm not sure what I would call it but it's a really pretty purplish kind of color that goes along well with this kit for September. So that's the pen and ink combo I'll be using. I don't believe I'll be doing a currently inked for September video, which is why I'm giving you all this information. What will be my accent color for the month? I'm not entirely certain, 
Um, I guess I can give you a little sneak peek of what pens I'll be using for September. Um, gray is going to go in this one. So maybe I could use gray. I think. It, it'll be, um, what do you call it? Diamond Earl Gray. It's going to go in this Sailor 1911S. So I think that's going to be my accent color for the month. And like I said, I use that to just kind of highlight a few different things, let it stand out from all of the other stuff. So that's that. And then my weeklies for September are here. And I'm actually excited about how I have them decorated. I'm excited about the color combos <laughs> that I'll be using and all of that good stuff. I did not add anything up here at the top. I don't think I will. I didn't really want to use any of the floral stickers up there. So I don't know if by the time we get here something will be added to that. We shall see. And then this is the fourth page where I feel like something is needed down at the bottom. But I'll wait until we get there um, before deciding what to put there. And here are my collection pages. And of course before we wrap up. I need to put down the September calendar vellum and also the little tab up at the top so I can easily turn to September when I'm at any place in my planner. I'm not going to say I'm a pro at this, but I feel like I've gotten better at tipping in these vellums every month when I need to do it. So the way that I've usually been doing it lately, and I'm at a bit of an angle so hopefully it still works, is I'll line up the edge of the page I'm tipping in with the edge of the planner, hold it there, and then use this side to kind of use like my fingernail to slide it down into place in between the pages. And that worked pretty well so there you go okay so i have that in there and then the last and final step is to put down my september tab right up at the top as you'll notice i have all of the other tabs for the other months of the year so i'm going to line up and i like to do it like flipping from this direction because i feel like if you do it in the other direction um if i did it on that side, I don't know how to explain it. It's not going to line up well. <laughs> I have to flip them all over to the right hand side of the book. Anyway, so I'm going to go in with September and I like to choose which side of the tab sticker I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use the side with the purple flower. That's the one that's going to face outward or face up towards me. So try to make it the same distance. And again, I'm doing this on an angle. Uh-oh. I think that's about right. Put that there. Fold it into place. I think it's a little crooked. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so that is my tab for flipping straight to September. So there you go. All right, so that means September is in the books. Well, not quite. August is almost in the books, meaning complete. <laughs> September is set up and ready to go starting at the end of next week. So I'm all set up and ready. I'm really excited about this kit for the month. Now looking at this page, I feel like it doesn't go. It doesn't go with the rest of this. I think I need some of the darker purple. I need some of the darker colors to add to this page. So I think I am going to do that somehow, some way. Maybe I'll layer in some of this washi. I don't know. Just thinking out loud. So anyway, I'm all set up, ready to go, ready to get September started as soon as it rolls around. Thank you so much for following along on today's video. Again, if you have any suggestions about microphones, maybe you do. I don't know why you would, but maybe you do. <laughs> you 
you please leave them down below or message me. And again, I thank you for watching today's video. I'll see you in the next one.